My name is uh, Major Steve Melanson. I'm uh, call sign PUP. I'm a member of the Royal Canadian Air Force and I fly the number four jet at the center of the formation in the Canadian Forces Snowbirds. Uh, it's a privileged position actually. It's a lot of uh, work, not a lot of movement. I don't uh, change formation a whole lot. Everyone's expecting me to stay in my position, so it's a position of trust. So it's a bit of a privilege in that way. Everyone moves around me during the entire show as we loop and roll and my job is to provide stability for the formation. So we break our show down in thirds. Uh, the beginning of the show is called the opener. We're nine planes together. We do loops and rolls along the show line in various formations. People are moving back and forward around me. Uh, then during the integrated portion, we split apart in uh, various bursts. And then uh, the solos do their opposing crosses. And we do specialty maneuvers with uh, uh, what I like to do is uh, the inverted formation. We do the double take and a kaleidoscope, but I get to fly inverted off the uh, lead aircraft, so it's fun. Oh yeah, that was great. We did a nine plane, just a very simple transit. We uh, changed formation a few times, and we went up uh, north of here by 35 miles and over to the coast and saw some amazing scenery along the Oregon coast. Beautiful. So this is the ejection handles themselves. Either one can be pulled up, but ideally we pull both up, just like that basically. Kind of did there. So then you'll hook this part in. I'm gonna reach through my legs, there's a loop. These two come through here, through the loop, back up, and they get attached here and here. Once all five sections are in, we put it to lock. So, on this side we have the emergency oxygen hose. So this is gonna hook into our uh, helmet. And this just provides, right down here, there's an emergency bottle of oxygen that provides us with uh, breathing air if we need it. Now, all of our mission will be done below 5,000 feet, so realistically, there won't really be a need for it. You're gonna have your oxygen mask. So your oxygen connection, your main connection, just push straight on. Yep. Take that underneath here. Your emergency oxygen. So this is the collar here that moves. And that goes into this here. <laughs> That shed everything. Lanyard, so the yellow URB. Oh, push like a sandwich, yep. Yeah. And then left arm, right arm underneath. And then walk away. Nice. There you go, nicely done. Oh, PSV. I need like a jacket. All that stuff, like. How does that fit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like so. Oh, you'll be fine. Awesome. Here's a zipper up front. Take a picture. up, and then the buckle. There you go. That's hey, that'll be nice to have. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh. Is it? Is well, it pretty intense? Uh, buckle up like a tissue oh, junior. Really? Right at the top. So wait, you just did one recently? Two, one, hack. It is now 10.40 local. Boss, would you like to introduce our guests? Well, uh, since I haven't met our guest, maybe Michelle. Maybe. Absolutely. <laughs> so everyone, um, so we have uh, presence of our media and our packs. Uh, so we'll start off uh, to the right here uh, is uh, Steph. We know Steph, uh, she's our uh, communicator, official communicator for the air show. Then we have uh, Tim from the uh, Oregonian. Okay, and then we have Natasha from uh, Channel 6. And uh, then we have Ryan. Ryan is uh, from uh, airshowstuff.com. Uh, so boss, uh, yeah, the intent is uh, to travel north out of here. Uh, pretty much direct KKLS there, southwest Washington. Uh, regional. Uh, at which point we can uh, hook on to the Columbia River, uh, follow the current Columbia River down all the way out to the coast to Astoria. Uh, the only terminal areas we'll go through, so we should stay out of uh, KPDX, so the International Airport, we should be staying out of that by just going direct to KKLS. Uh, down the Columbia River should uh, be good, and then we'll go into Astoria uh, as regional airport uh, uh, airspace there. Uh, and then down the coast all the way to uh, Rockaway Beach, which is where that uh, point is there. To fit. From there, kind of back down through that little valley, eventually back in here into uh, in Hillsborough. All the rest says we'll do the triple big takeoff. All the other frequency are there. We'll come back and do a trail for the recce and then pitch uh, for the stop. Let's just go through the pitch itself. Uh, we'll get, let's uh, consider it to be left traffic today. All right, so the uh, running a silver pitch, slope down, one back, left pitch, in the pitch, speed brakes go, click, click, all right back, relaxing, rolling out, smoke off now, DR, 
And the 589 drop right? 55 five clear. 467 drop right? 44 four clear. Silver standby landing gear, landing gear go. The one full flap check gear. 4 full flap. 5 full flap. One drop left. 3 clear. 4 drop left. 7 clear. 5 drop left. 9 clear. 9 secure. Thank you. All right. With that, I'm ready. 2. Ready. 3. Ready. 4. Ready. 5. Ready. 6. Ready. 7. Ready. 8. Ready. 9. Ready. Shell. Ready. Less. Ready. Ready. Break. That's a tense one. Start takeoff. We're taxiing out for the triple big takeoff. So we line up with uh, 500 foot separation between our Number elements. Number one, time to clear left at the end. No fact that you're clear for takeoff. Your discretion. You have your input. Number one, uh, clear to take off our discretion. And uh, just uh, so you know, we're heading up to the uh, north uh, around for the VFR route. We'll be back in about 20 minutes. I wait for my wingman to come in. Everything is very scripted procedure that we follow. Summer's lights.
to maneuver. So we're going in a line. Large number misses all the smaller numbers.
Uh, so the uh, left side of the floor is nice. You can see the rocks. Pretty happy out here. Terrible. It's a lot like the prairie's age, but... Uh, 21 uh, miles to the west, and about 
one in approximately four minutes. Okay, thanks. Four clear. Three clear. Thank you. 